Today on the Justice Court, the plaintiff, Modinot Raji, is asking the court to compel Oluwashehi, her tenant, to pay two years overdue rent and vacate her apartment. The defendant claims he offered to pay the overdue rent, which was rejected by the landlady. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Madina Suraji and Uluwashe. Parties for the note. Thank you, Akin. You're welcome, Your Honor. Madina Suraji, you are the plaintiff. Yes, ma'am. And you brought him to court. Yes, ma'am. So tell me what happened. Initially, she was my tenant. So the house is a family house. And when she rented the house for me, I don't have any issue with she. But when she now got married, she each wife make trouble with my junior sister. And I asked what is the issue. They said, because when they fresh water down, that my junior sister used to take from their water. And I advised she that take key and lock your drum. Since then, no issue again. But later on, I now notice that she and my um, wife and my mom used to have issue every time. I called she, what is the problem? She said, no problem. I asked my mom. My mom said, because the house is she has her own toilet and bathroom and kitchen separately. Where my mom has her own bathroom too, outside the compound. And she and my mom, they are only the one sharing the bathroom at the backyard. My mom now said, she wife don't normally use their own bathroom or toilet. You normally use their own. When they finish eating food, maybe dirty food or dirty rice, anything dirty, she will just pour it inside the inside my mom's bathroom. When she's washing clothes, she will not wash clothes inside her own bathroom. She wash clothes. Outside, when she wants to pour the water, she will just pour the water on the floor. Why the water will go straight to my mommy's bathroom? When they complain, Shei wife will start fighting my mommy. And I caught Shei. Is it true? Shei will deny it. Not first time, not second time. I have to call the agent man that bought Shei to me. Three times we caught Shei. Call your wife. Let's solve this issue. Shei said, Our wife is not around. Okay, they said your wife did this. Your wife fights my mommy. Beats up my mommy. Bite my, my junior brother. She we said is a lie. Okay, call your wife. He said no. So guys, there is a day. She is at home. She have to come out and tell my junior brother, like, look at you. You are a lazy, a lazy guy. A guy like you want to fight you. You cannot respond. You were there. You witnessed that. No, my junior brother told me. Which I, I caught she. I caught she. I hacked. She said, is a lie. Okay, I forget about it. So there was a day my junior brother now called me that I should listen to she wife have started again. He said, he said that they are fighting and fighting my mom. What is the issue? He said, because she's complaining about my mom, about she brother, that yes, a, a, a day before he waited outside, he wants to fight him. Say, if not for one woman outside, I'll separate them. He want, and my, my mom now said, okay, leave them alone. She wife threw up, start abusing my mom. From there, they start fighting, beating up my mom. And he called me immediately. What? What did you say? She wife start beating my mommy, fighting my mommy. Immediately, my junior brother called me. abuse or physical assault? After abusing, they start fighting each other, start beating up my okay. mom. My brother and brother tried to separate them. He, take, he took my brother, my junior brother's clothes, hear it, and bite my junior brother. Okay, immediately, my junior brother called me that as she listened to me, I can hear a voice that started again. Immediately, I called she, that she, look at her, they said your wife has started again. And I can hear the voice background. He said, please, I want you to meet me. At home now, please. I'm going to my mommy's place. Meet me. She said, he cannot come with us. He cannot leave what he's doing. She is, she is a fashion designer. Whereas a shop is just a walk to 10 minutes to the, to the house. She said, he cannot come. Okay, I said, okay, I'm going there. Immediately, I took Okada. I went there. Before I get there, I met she, you know, senior sister there. Separated them. And I tell them that this thing is coming up every time. And I don't have strength for trouble. That, that, that she want the girl to stop fighting my family. The woman said, the auntie said, it will not or call again. Okay, I forget about it. It's like some after some months, my mom started complaining about eyes problem that her eyes is pain. Although, although she has eyes problem before, the eyes is disturbing her. What happened? She said nothing. Okay, immediately we go to Randu Hospital. From Randu, they um, transfer us to Isolo. They said we have to do the hospital. What happened? He said when they are fighting that she wife eats it, eats her eyes. I said and you didn't say anything. Well, forget about it. We did the operation, everything. She, my mom is in my house. I'm taking care of my mom. Very after some a month later, I just received a colleague that my junior sister has taken Shei to police station. What happened again? The policewoman said I should come. 
Before then, I've given, since the wife fight for my mommy, I've given Shei quick notice to leave. Seems I don't have peace. And the way she says to says, he said he doesn't have peace with her family. So it's better for you to leave. So the peace will reign. So she now called me that, why did I, she, uh, we gave her quick news, what happened? I said, your wife beat up my mom. What do you expect me to do? My mom don't have peace. So it's better you leave. So I myself, I will have peace. It's like later, she now, she wife now put to bed. A twins. A twins. So she now go to either the agent man place or the lawyer that gave she the quick notice that start begging that we should forgive that he will caution his wife. They will not make trouble again. They will not make anything again. That they will sign undertaking that no trouble again. He will caution his wife, caution the junior ones that they will not make trouble again. I don't even want to accept the, the begging, but the man pitched to me that I should accept she. She is not ready to leave, but I should accept. Okay, I accepted. The, the man now said we should give she like a month and before she will pay the money that is owing. Seems he said he's not ready to make trouble again and accepted. After the month that she said he's going to bring the money for me, the money that they are owing, I just received a call that again that um, she have put my mom and my junior brother to the police station. What happened? By the time I get to the station, they said my junior brother is, bath is bathing in the bathroom. Why she junior sister now took dirty water and pour my junior brother inside the bathroom from down? Uh -uh. With annoyance, when my junior brother will come, the mistake my junior brother did, he now packed dirty water too and pour the girl inside the kitchen. She now come out after beating up my brother. She now go to the station again and use police to arrest my, my junior brother. After then, and I don't even call the lawyer to tell her anything. It's like the lawyer now called she to ask she. After we said, you don't want to go again. We should have, you've begged, we've upset. Okay, the money you are owing, are you not going to bring? The she now reply the man that he wants to leave, that he's not ready to stay in the house again. That he wants to leave. Since then, she is not ready to leave. He's not going. And by next month, now she will be two years in the house. All of them are there. She is not paying for the house and he's not paying for Nepal. Roughly 61,000 naira. She is owing. Nobody's and he's not ready to leave. And I don't have any option now to take care of my mom. It's only that house. Since the COVID-19 issue, I don't my job is not really going fine. What do you do for a living? I'm a hairstylist, ma. Okay. So she, what happened? It's when I get to that compound. That was 2015. So I've not married then. After a year, I got married. Then, before then, before I got married, I noticed that I bought a drum. Those blue drum that would put water inside. I put it at the backyard, closer to my bedroom. Then whenever I'm going to work in the morning, I would do boil water two or three days. So whenever I'm going, I would just notice that I come back in the evening, I can't find any water in the Was drum. Was before you got married? Yes, that is what, when before I got married. There's one guy that stays with me, um, Amsa. So when I come, I will not call the guy. Guy, what happened? You were here when I'm buying this water. Anytime you want to wash your clothes, why can't you go outside and fetch water? Or you call Malam to, to give you water, then you wash your clothes. The guy who said he didn't touch my water, that he went to buy water to wash his clothes. That thing keeps happening every time. Can you describe the nature of a party? Yeah, the, the mommy's room. And my uh, is opposite my my room. Okay, directly opposite. Direct. Okay. So, um, our mom and our sister and one of our, our brother they stay. There are three in that house. It's when and I got married that I see many things, especially at the first place that water. My wife will be inside. She will notice that this our sister going to the drum take water. It's when we now notice when that thing happened. When it turned to, when everybody started shouting, come to can this I ask thing. ask you a question. That drum. Yes. Is it not the type that you can put a padlock? Let me explain I now. Asked, I asked. I'm asking. Yes, it's the one I can put. But that time, I didn't put anything. There's an allegation that someone normally go there to take water. At the point why that person is taking the water, did she accost her? Like, what are you doing there? Why are you taking water from that drum? Okay. Was that ever done? No. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so when she told me, and I called Aminonda, even if you need something, it's a thing you can come to me that, okay, I need this thing though. It's not by query. I call him, I call her, sorry. So even if you need something, it's a thing you can call me, or it's, okay, I need this thing though. Okay, so, she confirmed that she normally takes water from Yes. Then after that, when, she, when we now bought Patlock, Lock that in. 
when she cannot be able to take the water again, she started, she started putting uh, peace in the, through that hole. You have a toilet? Yes, I have my toilet. Which toilet is assigned to their own apartments? The general one. Be, be, uh, Where was she getting their feces from? She don't normally go to toilet to, to toilets, even to today. So where does she go? She there's one corner and that, there's one corner behind there beside their window that she normally bath both morning, afternoon, and night. That's where she bath. That's where she, that's where she do everything, and she don't normally take it to the toilet. Okay. The plaintiff agrees that Uluwacheyi used to live peacefully in the house before he got married but alleges that his wife has assaulted her mother and siblings on several occasions. She has had enough of this and she wants the defendants to pay his overdue rent and quit the house immediately. Oluwashi claims he used the rent to settle bills when his wife gave birth to a set of twins. George Fumi wades into this matter. The main claim I have before me is about the fact that you are owing rings. You are supposed to be out of the house and you are still in the house and you are owing electric for electricity too. So that's why I said what the what you've just narrated the two of you, I'll come back to that. Because that's something else that just evolved while you were discussing. But the main claim before me, I want to get information on that. Are you owing rent right now? Yes, I'm Hoima, but there's a purpose. Just wait. You explain yourself. How much are you owing? Um, 130,000. Okay. So 130. That's for rent. How much are you owing for electricity right now? About that electricity. I've never one day hold money for light. The issue for that light in that compound, the cause of the issue is the, their, their mommy. What or the, let's say their own side. Wink. Yes, ma. What but happened? They don't normally pay money for light. So we've, in that house now, it has gotten to one year and like two, three months that we've not used light in that compound. Everybody in the compound? Yes, it's, okay. and it's because of them. So it's like no light in that premises? In that compound. It's only a uh, few people at the front, because the building is like, it's two buildings. One belongs to their own family and one belongs to the other. I don't know how they... Another they, family? Yes, ma'am. Okay. But where you are, for one, is that true? For the past one and a half years, you've not had electricity. I, just, I don't live with them. I just noticed about, my mom just told me roughly four months. So, from when was the last time they paid for electricity? In the house, as my mom. I don't really know... When so you don't have information, so I'll leave the electricity out right now. Because it's obvious you don't have information on it. I don't normally... That's what I'm saying. We're saying the same thing. Yeah. So we leave that one aside. Now you said you have something to explain over the rates. Yes, ma'am. I'd love to hear that. Normally, since when I got there, I've never one day home on it. Look, uh, uh, your honor, ma, you can ask her, she said. I've not one day home her. So it's when this thing come up, this uh, issue come up about the issue of all this thing that I've explained about point she After you got married? Yes, yeah, after then. So, and I noticed that I called her. I mean, that, is normal, that is how I normally do. I do pay her every six months. I called her. I said, I want to pay your money. She said, no, I should not pay the money. Who said that? She. I even, I, I not went to call one of her... Uh, uh, a um, sister, brother, that one stays in Korodu, that the Sheon. I normally call that one, disturbing that one with phone. I don't know what happened there. How do you, what, what procedure do you normally take when you want to pay for the rent? Huh? Do you pay in cash or you pay into the account? To the account. So you have the account? Yeah, yes. So if you have an account with you? No, I do normally, if, so, I do normally call her before paying the money. Then after paying, sometimes I may not even remember, it may be after two days, you know, but I not remember two. Call her that I've, paid. I've sent money, no. okay. and she will tell me that she's got the money, but she don't know where the money from that. Okay. So, so that is it. So how much is the total sum that you are owing? Yes. I can ask her, but I want it from yes. you. Two sixty, ma. Two sixty. Yes, ma. So it's two years you are owing. Two years rent that you are owing. Last 
2019 and 2020. Yes, ma'am. Where are you living right now? I'm still there, ma'am. You know the third year is running already. Is you, um, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. But for whatever it is, for purpose of calculation of how much you're owing, we just take it that from January 2019 till date, you have not paid. Yes. Even though, according to you, you intended paying earlier on. Yes. But she was not she responding said, don't positively. That's why I to said you. I stick okay. for one of uh, their brothers. Okay, so you made attempt to, yes. to pay. So what else do you have to say? You were going to say something. The issue of, he said he's begging us with the money. He said he wants to pay us the rent. We don't want to collect the money. It's the way after when we gave her the quick notice that she didn't start begging. Asked my uncle to come and beg, called me to beg me. And my mom said he doesn't want she eating. That she he don't seem to understand something. Even when you are about already to evict a tenant from the house, it has nothing to do with your accepting rent for the period they've already stayed in the house. That's money that you are entitled to. You are in a premises whereby you are not happy. Your wife is not happy with everything that is ongoing. You try to even pay the rent. They did not take the rent from you is a clear indication that you are no longer wanted in the premises. They took a further step because I have the two notices issued by the landlord and from their, you know this, from the legal practitioner. You have copies of this. Okay. Let me show this to you. This and this. I want to know that you've seen this before. Turn it. Turn the other page too. There are letters from the lawyer. Okay, maybe I've seen it before. You've seen them before. You, you've been given copies. Yes, I think. Okay, I've right. seen it. That's why right. I called you because there's a number there that I called that time and then. I didn't get you. I said there's a, there's a number there. I called you. You called the lawyer then. Yes, I called. And what I transpired called between the two? I of called you? him. We discussed then. What did you discuss? We discussed that. Okay, the money. Because I, there's, there, I, about the money that she's not taking from me. So it's around October. The letter is actually dated 2nd of October. Yes. I so, mean, the notice of owner's intention to apply to recover possession. So it's during that time that my wife gave birth, that October. Okay. My wife gave birth to things. And I, the work is, is, work is somehow then. So and I've begged them, begged them about the little money that I have. Because I don't normally hope before paying them when I was staying, still staying there before then. So it's that time that my wife now gave birth to twins and I'm, I'm, I don't really have much with me then. So I now use a little money that I have to run the hospital bill and everything. Issue of rents is fundamental. You can't stay in the house free. There are two aspects to it. Paying the rents, then eviction, an eviction is something you can still work out. But right now, the rent is before me. You are not paying rent, you are owing. You cannot control people that live with you. And even you yourself, you still have the habit of taking them to police station. I'm not, ma. You are not the one. No. So no, none of them has ever taken from what she said is she's not right. Not. Nobody I'm in your not one day. None what of happened your... if I can explain about that? Like... Oh, you know, I'm just because, yes, because you know, wait. Okay, ma. I told you to stop interrupting me. When she narrated, she came up first and narrated everything. Then you responded. There are some issues she raised that you did not change the position she presented to the court. If I'm even assuming without conceding that, let's take it, that you never ever reported them or took anyone, the mom, or that your wife and the mom ever fought physically. Those are things she raised. You live together. 
I don't know what occurs in your... It's not, I'm only saying all this based on what the two of you have told me. Okay. And because she raised this, you did not say that is not correct. Not. So it's only logical for me to conclude that that must have been the true position. And that's why you did not say that is not correct. Your then you want to leave the house. Your let, me, let me take it from leaving the house. Then we come down to the rent. When do you want to leave the house? Your Honor, ma. I'm sorry, I'm pleasing you to help me beggar. Anything she can do about that for me. Tell me when you want to leave the house first. Um, I help me beggar. So give me like be four months then. I will try to look for where I can put my thing. Because for now, I don't have anything with me. He wants to leave four months time. This January, February, March, April, May, May ending. Later is the move out of the house. And I'll tell you, that sounds reasonable to me. Because he's a family man. If he's single, he might easily get somewhere to squat. But you have to consider the family as well. Do you understand me? Okay. So let him have the four months to look for alternative accommodation and get some way to put his family. It's not just about him. He has children, he has a wife, you know. But for those four months, you are going to sign an undertaking in the courts. There must not be any comp. So you have to talk to your people. I must not hear any complaint. You have to calculate the rents from 2019 till May this year. Okay? So how do you want to pay? Because that's another issue entirely. And you know that money has to be paid, fully paid, before you leave the premises. The outstanding, how do you want to pay? Ma, your honor, ma. Uh, please, let me bring that to you. I'll be paying. I'll be paying her 10,000 every three months. Calculate the years yourself. So, she is to tell you that you have to already at the law. No, she, you want to make a lot of money. Oh, ready at the law. Oh, I'm going to sell it. You are not 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 going to sell it. You are moving out in May. You are to pay the total sum by May. All I'm asking you is how much will you pay? I can leave out this month for you because this month is all, almost over. So how much do you want to pay in February? By February ending. This one I'm dictating to you. I'm telling you. I want your response. How much will you pay in February, March, April, and by me. And by within this period, you must pay up everything you are owing. So let me know how you want to pay. That's why I said... I'll by asking you to pay by installments. That's why I said so. I will be giving out 10,000 every month, ma. The defendant is so broke and very evasive of making commitment. George Fumi steps this matter down for the litigants to reach amicable settlement. Now they are back in court. After the break, George Fumi rules. Uh, what did not and Luashe, you were in court earlier on and you could not agree on the terms of settlement. But eventually, I have before me now that you've agreed that you start paying the sum of 12,000 naira to her on a monthly basis. So what you have now, you have the two years rent outstanding of 260,000 naira. That's 2019 and 2020. Then you've agreed to move out of the premises by 31st of May. So the rent for the period of January to May, that's 54,000 naira. And... Um, on the issue of electricity, like I said earlier, you could not prove 
you don't have the information on how much is owing. So judgment on this case is for you to pay the rent for 2019 and 2020, which comes up to 260,000 Naira. And from January till May, 54,000 Naira. So judgment for the plaintiff. All rise. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.